A couple months after Kit died, I was actually approached from an editor at Simon & Schuster who had followed some of the story uh, on social media. Kit and I had been sharing, um, documenting um, the cancer journey on Facebook uh, amongst a close-knit group of friends, and one of them was uh, an acquaintance at Simon & Schuster who had been following it. And a couple months after Kit died, he approached me and he said, would you ever give any thought to turning this into a book? Because he was really moved by the story. Um, and I hadn't really given much thought <laughs> to it because uh, I, you know, I was still grieving. It was just a couple months after his death. But um, it got me thinking uh, about, you know, what an extraordinary opportunity it would be to introduce uh, Kit to, you know, thousands, potentially millions of people and let them uh, get to know him. Spoiler alert, the hero dies, um, basically tells the story of my 13 and a half year relationship with my late husband, Kit, and uh, with a focus on the last year of his life, his cancer diagnosis through to his death. Um, so the, the, it's really concentrated on those 11 months, but we go back uh, through the book to, you know, sort of glimpses and flashbacks to our relationship uh, together, the good times, the bad times, you know, the really messy times. As I watch it, I'm like, Jim is, you know, bringing things to my life and this story that I couldn't have even imagined possible and illuminating character in new and exciting ways and at times <laughs> making me maybe more interesting than I actually am. In addition to being a really nice guy, Jim is also incredibly smart and he surrounds himself with really smart people. So when That's Wonderful Productions approached me about uh, potentially optioning the book, in many ways it was just a, a no-brainer because I f felt like, you know, a story this personal, it, it needed to be in the hands of people I trust and, uh, and respect. And I think that speaks to Jim and his company The great thing about Michael Showalter is he is a master at mixing tones, um, particularly drama and comedy. We saw that with The Big Sick, especially, uh, where he took, you know, sort of this essentially sad um, story about illness, but mixed in layers of comedy uh, and, and, and just made it so that it wasn't just a downer, that, it, you know, it was both heartfelt, moving, but also hilarious. And he just was the perfect person for this kind of story. Seeing Ben Aldridge play Kit is super surreal at times because he actually looks like Kit, especially at certain angles. Um, you know, when the light hits him or his head is turned a certain way, uh, you know, I get chills sometimes thinking, oh my God, he looks so much like Kit. And he's also a fantastic actor and he's incredibly handsome and I have to think Kit would have appreciated that. I haven't still fully grasped the fact that Sally Field is a part of this movie. Um, I mean, she's a legend, an icon, and I grew up on her movies and I was a Big Brothers and Sisters fan. And it's just an incredible honor that she's part of this project. Well, one of the most important things when we started talking about turning the book into a movie was it had to be shot in New York. You know, Kit and I fell in love in New York. Our relationship was took place entirely in New York. We got married in New York. New York is, and this is cheesy and cliche to say, but another character in this story. So it would have broken my heart if we had to shoot somewhere else.